Okay, so we're going to import uh, a, a course in the Moodle 1 uh, into the new Moodle 2. So here I've created a bogus course called CCC 101. Uh, this is how it looks like in the original Moodle. Okay, uh, Moodle 1. Okay, and I you must have a the course already created for you in the new Moodle in Moodle 2. Okay, so in this case, I, I don't have anything here. It's just some default uh, default uh, content, default outline. So I'm going to show you from the point of login. Okay, so first you log in into the uh, the uh, the original Moodle. Okay. Uh, you find that particular course. So in my case, I just like to use the search 101. I press enter. Okay, there it is. This is my course. I go in. Yep. Confirm this is the one I want to transfer or copy over to the new Moodle. So you click backup. Okay, by default, it will select everything. You can choose not to. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, and then click continue. That's the file name that's going to create. It will create it onto the Moodle server. Okay continue so how long it takes depends on how big or how much stuff you have in your course so this one is quite fast because uh, there's not much in there okay so this is the resultant file so what you need to do now is to transfer this file from the Moodle server onto your PC so I'm just gonna click on it uh, it will uh, do a backup here so it's copying it to there so I can show you, show on, yep, there it is. Uh, it's in here now. Because this is the file that you need to upload onto the new Moodle for it to appear uh, as a new course. So, so what you do now is you go on to the new Moodle, you log in there. Okay, don't forget that this is the address of the new Moodle, apps.dissert.net.my slash Moodle2. Okay, so again, you look for the course. I I just like to do the search. Of course, you need to make sure that your course exists. So here it is. I click. Okay, so right now there's not much there. So, so what you do now is you click on restore. Choose a file. Choose file. Well, this is the file that I've uh, backed up from the original Moodle or Moodle 1 so click open and upload this file okay and then click restore yeah continue uh, restore as a new course no what you want to do is to restore into this course so uh, you can either merge the backup course into whatever is already in here, or you can just delete uh, the current content in the new Moodle and just uh, transfer whatever it was backed up onto this new Moodle. So I'm just going to well delete the content of this course and then restore. So continue. Okay. Uh, okay, so it has a few options. It's telling you what exactly it's going to include. So next. Okay, so again, you can you have the choice of modifying certain things here. Uh, I'm not going to bother. Uh, so I just say next. Okay, perform restore. So it goes ahead and uh, restoring it. So again, how long, how long it takes depends on how much uh, stuff was in the backup uh, uh, file. So the course was restored successfully. So if you click continue, it will take you to the view to view the uh, the back the restored course. Okay. So there you go. Bogus course 101, chapter one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. That's it. So you can continue adding stuff, changing stuff as you like in the new Moodle. Uh, 
uh, to until you get it just right. Thank you for listening.